If you love animals, you might think being a veterinarian is a dream job, getting paid to play with puppies and cuddle kittens. But a new reality series is highlighting the tremendous stress of performing surgery on pets. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. You can't put out this fire, no matter what you throw at me. For America's top vet students, I want to be one of the best in the world at what I do. Getting an education isn't exactly a walk in the dog park. If anyone thinks that it's easy, they're dead wrong. After three grueling years of cramming and test taking, their fourth year, they head out into the real world where they put their skills to the test in life and death situations with man's best friend and beyond. I don't understand what on earth you're thinking. Animal Planet's new reality series follows six students at the University of Pennsylvania just months away from graduation. Is it alive? Breathing. Yeah, you promise me? As they try to prove that they have what it takes. Nice work. Saved a life today. It was like getting into Fort Knox. Rebecca uh, Bernstein oh, is one of those students, a die-hard dog lover. Her passion um, for pets yeah, led her to her career. He's very relaxed, sleeps most of the day. Hi, buddy. Look at those eyes. <laughs> and even helped her dating life. He actually introduced you to your fiance. And I had 60 pounds of dog food that I was having trouble carrying. And the management lady was like, hey, that kid getting off the elevator, he's, he's single and he really wants to help you carry your dog food. We were dating ever since. But becoming a vet takes a lot more than just a love of animals. It's time and labor intensive. How grueling is that process? Words cannot describe. You have no life outside of school. You have to really make an effort to give yourself a break. We spend eight hours a day in class and then another five or six studying afterwards. Do you think for the most part people have no idea of all that it takes to become a veterinarian? I really think most people have absolutely no idea. We have the exact same things for animals that they do for humans. We have dermatologists, we have cardiologists. Oncologists. Oncologists, you name it, we have it. We do everything that if you go to the emergency room, you get done. Hi. He's like, why am I in here? He's like, At UPenn, we head manager. back to the emergency room where Rebecca, who chose a small animal specialty, I know. spent much of her time honing her skills. So what are they doing here? So she's going to do her initial triage examination. We meet a nervous puppy named Chester who's been vomiting. We know he's here for vomiting and diarrhea, but making sure that his eyes are okay, his heart is okay, his lungs are okay. Oh, I know. <laughs> you do a good paw. Rebecca sees similar care. cases and in the show. Minutes. How old is Rufus? 20 weeks. Okay. Sounds like he's kind of vomited up everything he's eaten in the last two days. Rufus, another young dog with an upset stomach, came in at the tail end of Rebecca's shift. So good. The dedication it takes to be an animal doctor often means you can never just clock out. Of course, I take the case and we'll do anything for him, but that means a lot of extra hours. Whatever has been making Rufus vomit isn't going to need surgery. It's just going to need a little bit of time. He probably ate something that didn't agree with him, and now he has a tummy ache. The dog isn't giving much. Even if you ever go to the emergency room and you say, my tummy hurts, they're like, where? You know, which quadrant? He's not going to tell me that. I had a grandfather who'd always say, you know what, if something's ever wrong with me, take me to a vet. <laughs> because they figure out what the problem is, even if you don't communicate it. I equate it to being like a pediatrician. Your patients don't talk, so you have no context clues. The only thing you have to go on is what the owners say and your physical exam findings. Honestly, I would rather go to a vet than a human doctor, too. And there's a lot more variety when it comes to animals. Over at the new Bolton Center, professors like Dr. Levine teach their students how to take on the challenges that come with treating larger animals. We are a large animal hospital. I do a lot with horses. We also treat goat, sheep, cow, pig, llama, alpaca, um, you name it, we've seen it. Some of their past patients, elite athletes like Derby winner Barbaro. It can be intimidating as a student. And exotic animals like this zebra with arthritis. We'll that. that one looks pretty close. That looks pretty that close. That looks better than I, yeah, that looks, yeah, that good. looks good. As I dropped his foot, he's like, ow, my foot hurts. Today, he's helping a horse who pulled up lame, who manages to stay pretty calm. But when his half-ton patients get unruly, things can get dangerous fast. Make a mistake with a dog or cat, you may get bit, and it could be pretty 
nasty, but you make a mistake with a large animal and it could be deadly. Can I look in your mouth? Hmm? Lindsay Gallagher was one of Dr. Levine's students. So her temperature is 102.7. With being a veterinarian, you have to learn about every single species. It really is all about taking whatever learning experiences there are and applying them to how, you know, how it's best going to help you. Assisting him with C-sections on cows. One thing I love about New Bolton is that you can be in, a, in one procedure in the morning and then suddenly you're pulled into another procedure. So your technique for large animals really, really matters. There's always the chance for things to go haywire. All hands on deck. A C-section on a calf when you're taking a 100-pound calf out of a cow is not a one human job. It does take a lot of just physical strength. You know, you have to pull the baby calf, like, out of the mother. You're a big boy. This way, guys, move the table. It's one thing to study one, something. Two, like, it is quite another to get in there and actually do it yourself, to feel what it's like and to feel, like, the strength that you need to do it. Same thing on the okay. bottom side here. Dr. Levine is great working with him and how much he, he lets us do and really get in there and really experience it. For these new vets getting here, was worth all the toil and sacrifice. Do you love what you do? A hundred percent. I have truly can say that there's not been a day that goes by that I'm not so happy with my choice. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in Philadelphia. VetU premieres this Saturday on Animal Planet.